All right guys, so we are on our way to the Dollar Tree and the reason why I want to do this video is because there's a lot of YouTubers that go to the Dollar Tree. But, I mean, usually it's just, you know, they do look at the ingredients, but as you guys know, I'm like super picky with ingredients and I like to know what's in my stuff. So I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and see what type of toxic ingredients are in their products. I'm pretty sure there's a lot. I'm just gonna put it out there and say that there's a lot of toxic stuff in their products, but we're just gonna find out for sure. So maybe I'll look at the makeup too. I'm not sure what I'll get into, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of crap in all of their stuff. So come along with me. Let's go to the Dollar Tree and see what we can find. the Dollar Tree. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna start with the sunscreen just because you know me and I'm like really particular about sunscreen. So we're going to check this out. So this says the Max Block SPF 50. So let's check out the ingredients. I'm going to die. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, five chemical ingredients in the sunscreen. That's lovely. Um, I always have these awesome sunscreen lectures that I give my students, and these are all pretty much of the ones that I stay say stay away from. Um, that's really scary. <laughs> and for the inactive ingredients they have one really good ingredient and that's the aloe but either than that it's not a good product all right so let's check out their kids their kids sunscreen again one two three four five chemical ingredients you guys in this sunscreen right here very toxic all right after sun protection so when you look at the back of the ingredient bottle so aloe vera is not green right it's clear so we see yellow five and blue one so those are artificial coloring and so we want to stay away from that so this is definitely not going to be the greatest right coconut oil moisturizing cream with vitamin E for dry and sensitive skin okay so it has mineral oil in it which I'm not a huge fan of because it is an inclusive so it's just gonna stay on top of the skin it's not gonna go anywhere um, and then it does have fragrance in it and that one's just a really high allergy for most people some people just cannot deal with fake fragrance and sometimes even if it's natural fragrance you have to be careful with lavender oil can be really strong on people's skin as well so let's go into the hydrating lotion okay so right here, petrolatum. So that's just gonna stay on top of the skin. It's not really gonna penetrate because it's so big of a molecule substance to do that. The sideral alcohol is not going to be the best. Alcohol in general is just, most of them, there's only like two fatty good alcohols and all the rest are just not good. Dimethicone, this is a silicone and a lot of times that can clog pores and cause acne. And so that's not very good, right? And then it's got a couple of chemical uh, ingredients in here too guys there's a lot of toxic stuff already I'm seeing this is this is not good okay so cocoa butter moisturizing lotion um, it has stearic acid acetyl alcohol okay the mineral oil is not gonna be good um, it has perfume which is fragrance which is a very high allergy for most people okay this is the kicker methyl paraben and propyl paraben those two are cancer causing preservatives <laughs> and it has the yellow six anything you put on the skin is going to penetrate and get into the bloodstream all right let's check out this dermacil 
Oh my gosh. So if you put this on the skin, it would just totally clog your pores. It has 1% dimethicone. Wow. That is insane. This is depressing. Okay, so they have some nice fragrance type of uh, lotions. And so this one's hibiscus and pink clay. So what does that mean? If it's scented body lotion, it's just going to be all fake fragrance, right? So petrolatum, not good. Um, dimethicone, not good. Propylene glycol, not good. Pegs are not good at, as well. Fragrance, not good. Sterile alcohol, uh, it has methylparaben, which is the worst paraben of them all, and propylparaben, okay, not good, and DNC red number 33. So all the red coloring is going to be the worst. So anything that's pink colored or red in color, sometimes purple, uh, lotions are not going to be good at all. I'm pretty sure that this coconut and rose oil is going to be the same thing. I'm just going to say that. All right, um, they do have some men's face and body wipes here, and uh, they have the charcoal facial wipes too, which charcoal is pretty popular, but I'm pretty sure you should not get them at the Dollar Tree. Let's see what the ingredients are. Let me lift up this little tag here. So it's got um, pegs, it has um, dimethicone, and in all reality, the charcoal that they do have in it is clear down on the ingredient list. Plus it has fragrance and perfume in it. So those are just high allergy skin for skin. And so they're just not going to be the best, okay? Pretty much everything here is not good. I mean, I knew that was coming. There's a lot of toxic ingredients, especially with the sunscreen. Please do not get their sunscreen. It is the worst stuff ever. Okay, always stay, stay with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide when it comes to uh, sunscreen, please. Okay, so let's check out this. So this is Global Beauty Care and it's a mask, I guess. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles. I'm scared right now. Wow, let's see, where's the ingredients in English, please. Okay, sodium lauryl sulfate. Okay, sulfates are not good. They make things lather and they are very stripping. Propylene glycol is not good. Butylene glycol, not good. Hydrolyzed wheat protein. So if you are gluten intolerant or have celiacs and you're using a product with wheat in it, it probably will cause um, somewhat of a reaction. Some people are not like that, but just be careful with that. It does have vitamin A and vitamin E and vitamin C, which is good, but it's clear down on the ingredient list. <laughs> Allantoin actually is a really good ingredient uh, because it's very soothing to the skin. Okay, anything that says foaming is probably going to have sulfates in it. Let's see if this does. Um, so it has a propylene glycol in it, which is not good fragrance sodium lauryl sulfate there you go we want to stay away from sulfates especially in dry idaho weather we don't want to dry out the skin even more and so stay away from that as well then they have all their their makeup here and i'm pretty sure they're packed full of ingredients that are toxic so i'm trying to find like a foundation but i don't know if they have foundation here I thought they did. Okay, so let's check out this. Here we go. Okay, liquid makeup um, ingredients. Water, da, 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 hydronated, steric acid. Yeah, all of these are chemical, guys. All of these are chemical ingredients. And then they also have, just to kick it off, has the fragrance and perfume in it. Okay, so don't use this. It's not good. And then they do have some, so let's see what their bronzers have inside. So mica is color pigment, which most people don't have a huge issue with that, but talc is very poor causing, uh, poor clogging, and does not help at all with acne. Kaolin is a type of clay which can help with acne. Uh, silica, magnesium, mineral oil, okay, not good. So if you're acne prone, do not use this and 
and oh and then it has the red 40 which is the worst worst ever when it comes to fake color dyes not a good bronzer guys not a good one Okay, so there's a lot of toxic ingredients everywhere, but of course, when you go to the Dollar Tree, uh, stuff is a dollar, and so they're probably going to be like really bad for your skin. So I pretty much was right there. Um, they do sell this Barbasol at the at Walmart and Walgreens, but please don't pick this up because it has very high alcohol content. And so if you are a guy and you struggle with ingrown hairs, it is just the worst. It's gonna be so bad for your skin and folliculitis. All right, so let's go into the baby stuff. Like, this is what really makes me mad, you guys, is they have baby lotion here. And I'm pretty sure this baby lotion is so toxic and is probably gonna make me sick. Um, so, okay, so we have mineral oil. Okay, so if your baby struggles with little baby acne, this is probably not the stuff to get. As petrolatum in it, which is not good. Um, it has fragrance in it. Oh my gosh, it has methyl paraben and propyl paraben and red 33. I'm seriously gonna chuck this. Um, so, all of those things are obviously not going to be good for your baby. Um, let's see if Elmo is is any better. <laughs> oh, you guys, dimethicone, methylparaben, that is the worst preservative and they're putting it in baby products. Seriously? God. I'm getting so depressed right now. <laughs> Seriously depressed. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so, um... Guys, I don't know, like I am just like appalled with the stuff that is in most of their products. Um, these Huggies probably have fake fragrance in them because I know you can get these at Walmart too. Um, it says free of alcohol, parabens, hypoallergenic, but are they going to really be that way? I don't know, they're okay. I've seen better, but they're okay. Okay guys, so I'm pretty depressed right now. I just got done just going over all their skincare products. Obviously, there's lots of toxic ingredients in their stuff, which is not cool. Um, I knew there would be just because everything's a dollar, right? So they're not gonna pay high money to get stuff in their store. And so yeah, that was my little trip to the Dollar Tree. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Um, ingredients are everything, guys. So if you have anything you want me to look at or something, you can definitely just leave me a comment down below and I can tell you whether or not it's good or bad. But just remember, parabens are bad. Dimethicone, any silicones are going to clog the pores, cause bacteria, cause acne. Um, any of the fake fragrance, fake dyes are not good in your products. Even if they're essential oil based, sometimes they can cause reactions too. So just be careful. It depends on your skin type. And all the sulfates are bad too because they strip the skin too much, causing it to be really dry. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the trip with me. Thanks so much for coming with me. Please subscribe. I would love that. And I will see you guys next time. Oh,